What's up, Doombots? Tony Scongeli here with his new series, Wishful Thinking. Just a conversation about stuff I don't like and what I wish would happen. I think we can all agree that we want more content. And content's a rough word, right? Because Cerebro went on a post and defined content, you know, how I guess Fox Next defines content, because he's the mouthpiece of Fox Next, as you know, we release new characters and then campaigns and, and, and stuff like that. And and that's content. And I I don't know if anyone else agrees or disagrees, but I, I don't think characters are content. I think characters are how you make money, Fox Next. So don't don't spit on my my shoe and tell me it's raining like characters have to be released or you can go ahead and not release characters, make no money and then wonder what happened. Well, that's on you. But characters are, are your primary spending generator. So they're not content. That's something you have to do. That said, I do think that campaigns are content. Campaigns uh, have a story and they have a challenge to them and people have to respond to them and whether they be content people enjoy or not, eh, but I do think they're content. I don't think raids are necessarily content. I, I think when a new raid is released, it becomes new content and that lasts for about three months. After three months pass, a raid is no longer new content. It is now just existing content, and we are a problem. Also, I think that there's a weird line of, of what people mean by when they say content, because the same, most of the same people I talk to from my stream or, or from Reddit or wherever I go, most of the same people will have the same conversation. They'll say, we want more content, but I'm playing too much in this game. And like that but what do you mean like you can't have both you can't i want more things to do and i don't want to play this game as much like that's a weird thing and then i thought well wait maybe you can maybe what you can have is uh more content that doesn't require specific things specific time like i think one of the biggest complaints about alliance war is well i mean there's plenty but one of the biggest complaints about alliance war is and not only do I have to do it three times a week, which is better, better, more frequent than my raid schedule in World of Warcraft, at least in World of Warcraft, I raid twice a week for three hours a day. That's six hours of my week dedicated to raiding and another two hours in World of Warcraft dedicated to farming gold so I can pay for my repair bill for the next raids and buy pots. For those who don't play World of Warcraft, I'm sorry, you won't get that reference. The point is an MMO that I pay $14.99 a month for requires me to play the game for about eight hours a month. And then anything I do outside of that is fishing or having fun or dirtling around or working really hard or progressing. I have options at that point, as opposed to this game where I don't have the free net. Now, hold on, because I know people are starting to pull back when I say that and they're gonna be like, well, this isn't an MMO, Tony. Really? Is it? How many hours a day do you play this game? How many hours a week do you play this game? I'm guessing, player, it's more than 20. This is another job for most people. I blitz hour and a half a day when, you know, when it comes up. But I still have to come in. I still have to do raid nodes. And since I can only do five raid nodes at a time unless I spend money, and since I can only log in three times a day to get extra energy unless I spend money, which I do, but it's irrelevant, and I have to make sure that I'm in every two hours to continuing through Blitz if I want to. And War, I have to be on every three and a half hours after two o'clock or three o'clock when my War starts every other day. And then I have to make sure that I'm up before 8 a.m. in order to get the last energy to do my last attacks or else I'm gonna lose a War. War is different for everybody, so I'm not gonna go into detail on that. The point is, there's a lot of content in this game. Right, but comparing it to other games, it's not content, it's forced labor. So content is things I can do. And I, I'm telling you, Fox Next, if you created a, a very simple game mode that didn't have major rewards, but let people play around and dirtle, a danger room or something, like a test center or a challenge mode where you can challenge members of your alliance, and it, all it gave you was a little sticker over your face saying like, I'm the best player in this alliance this week. I'm telling you, man, 
like people would dig it because it gives them something to do to dirtle while they're waiting around you want people playing the game but you also are forcing people to play the game and that's going to wear on some people people have already been leaving i think you already saw my other video on that we don't want people to be more so here's my wishful thinking thought thinking thought huh. i believe what we can do is release content that doesn't demand players immediately do it but players will do it because they enjoy it and that's kind of the idea behind releasing campaign nodes like mystic for nexus 8 and 9 villains heroes you have a lot of untapped potential in those by the way there's you can go ahead and make the next heroes a nightmare for players to be able to accomplish like you seven levels of difficulty and players will at the very least have a new pool of hero characters a new pool of villain characters and mystics and cosmics to to try to power through these game nodes without necessarily being overpowered for them um, and it would be also a phenomenal way to eventually release iso 8s to the community because i don't think anyone in the community wants iso 8s to be red stars again and i don't think you are foolish enough to release ISO 8s before an API comes out, where we have the ability to see before a fight how our opponents built their characters differently than we might expect. Like, there's no way you're that dumb, right, Fox Next? No chance that you're gonna release ISO 8s without the ability to see what my opponents in arena, in war, in raids, have before entering it's because they're timed game modes wink but you're not gonna do that right it's impossible okay so you're not that stupid cool you also clearly are not going to make them you're not going to make an item that is so rng heavy based on tier of the iso 8 itself number of stars the iso 8 has number of roles the ISO-8 has, since the ISO-8s function like ARPG gear where they roll random stats with random abilities on them. There's no way you're going to gate those behind a constant amount of money, right? Like, you're going to give the players the ability to farm them, and the best place to be able to farm them is as rewards for completing new campaign nodes, which is probably why I assume you haven't released Nexus 8, 9, and anything else, because you wanted to say, hey guys, I'm sorry it took so long, but uh, the reason was because here, here's the ability to farm these brand new mechanics. You know, at that point, you can then sell more. You know, no one has a problem with you selling more packs of ISO 8s as long as players can farm them. And as long as what you're selling isn't tiers above what players can farm. That's it. That's, that's the more or less the gist of it. So my wishful thinking my hope fox next is that anytime after black friday after christmas when you've got your api set up or you've designed the game well enough that you can see your opponent's characters in every game mode appear to be when you just by clicking on them like what they have what their gear tier is what every piece of information i say api because it's the easiest way to do it once you have that set then you release these iso 8s these wonderful little mods that allow players customization over their their characters and how they play their teams and and, and strengthen the ones that are great and make some bad ones better than they expected or take characters like nebula and make her finally not suck once you take this great idea that other games have very very poor ideas about you've already taken out speed so like God bless, guys. Good job. So you've already removed speed from them. You have a good idea. You have a good understanding of how to build the strategy of the game. I wish you do not gate the best possible ISO 8s behind a paywall or, absolutely worst case scenario, an RNG paywall. Because I promise you, Fox Next, if that were the case there's going to be a lot less people paying than you expect. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangilli, and I'll catch you later.